Good morning. So let's review the problem that you were given. Now, in the problem, you had to create a parallelogram representation or image of the replacement structure, the replacement window for the typhoon relief structure or the, the UN relief vehicle. And the information that you were provided so far is that you knew the parallelogram would be 6 meters by 5 meters and that you knew it had, it had to have a 40 degree internal angle. So the idea is that you need to use math tools to construct this parallelogram only using the given information. Meaning we don't know what the other internal angles are and we don't know what the other side lengths are. But we can use this given information along with what we know about the attributes of a poly, uh, parallelogram to solve the problem. So the first thing we need to do is we have to get our equipment ready. So I only have one pencil, so I'm just going to hold off on my compass and I'm going to start by drawing a base for my parallelogram. And in your plans, many of you said that we always start with a very detailed plan, which is good. And you wrote out step by step exactly how you wanted to construct your, your structure. So the first thing is I'm going to draw the six meter section and I'm going to use the unit conversion 6 meters is equivalent to 6 centimeters so that's going to be a 1 meter to 1 centimeter relationship so I've got my 6 centimeter base and it tells me that I need an internal angle of 40 degrees. So I'm going to take my protractor, put it on the point, mark my 40 degree angle, and then use the flat edge to create my 40 degree. Whoa. Okay, got it. Now it doesn't matter how long I draw it. because I can always erase it later. I'm just going to double check 40, take a snapshot of that, double check the side length here, take a snapshot of that. Now there will be human error in your work no matter what. The next step, but even with human error, give yourself plus or minus one to two, or one to two degrees and that's acceptable. So here you'll notice that this line goes all the way up to six centimeters. We want to stop it at five. So put a mark at five. Erase the excess that we don't need. And that's our point from here to there. That's five centimeters. Now the next thing we need to do is we can label five centimeters. We could even call or give the points a name. So we could call this point A, this could be point B, and this could be point C. The only thing we're missing is point D. Now as an estimate, if we've got this so far, we want our parallelogram to be slanted to the right, kind of. But we know that this side and this side must be parallel. Sorry, you can't see it so well because I'm using pencil. But your parallelogram so far looks like this. We know the other side has to be slanted parallel with this one because this side length and this side length are the same. This side length and this side length are the same, and they're parallel. Looking at the relationships, too, we could state that this angle is the same as this angle, and this angle up here is the same as this angle. But we don't know that yet, not from just the given information that we have. We know that from our experience with, other, with working with other parallelograms, but for this one, we have to construct it only with what we know, not assume. Okay, so I'm putting my pencil to the paper, pointer to the paper, making them the same height, and I'm tightening my pencil in place so it doesn't move, opening my, my compass arm. Now, I don't know how long to make it, or do I? In the given information, I know that the base is six 
This represents the 6 meter section, but it's 6 centimeters. My top also needs to be how long? Right, because the bottom side length of the parallelogram should match perfectly in parallel the top side length, meaning it should also be 6. Do I need to use my ruler? Well, I could, or I could just use this. Use my compass, match it to the side length on the bottom. It's matched. Grab my ruler, double check it. Six, got it. Next step, put the pointer of your compass on the point you've already made. You know it, point C. And then draw your arc. Again, leaning on the pointer and gently fanning the pencil. Okay, and that side length represents six centimeters. The next thing to do is to adjust your pencil length and your compass. I'm putting pointer on point A and pencil tip on point C because side length AC as I labeled is 5 centimeters. I'm going to double check that on my ruler. almost there. So this tells me that my measurement may be off by a, about a millimeter, but it's really close. Okay, so that's now five centimeters. Now do I put it on point C or do I put it on point B? Well, I've already marked off the six centimeter distance from point C to that arc. Now I need to mark the five centimeter distance from point B and create an arc. Now let me see if I can zoom in a little bit and show you what I'm talking about here. Okay, so as you can see, hopefully, second. Now this arc was created, this one in, in particular right here, was created by putting my pointer on point C, this pointer, and opening up my compass six centimeters to match the base of six centimeters. Then I took my compass, matched it with five centimeters, put my pointer on point B, and one second, let me get this back in focus my pointer on point B, and then drew this arc right here. Now the intersect point right here, this intersect clearly shows that the missing point, point D, must complete the parallelogram properly using the dimensions given. So let's finish up. Okay, so now I'm going to take my pencil out of my compass because I don't need it in here anymore. Right now, I could use it for double checking. With my ruler, I'm going to put my zero on C and then check to make sure that the intersect is actually six centimeters away. And it is perfect. Now I'm going to do the same thing and check my B to the intersect and it is five centimeters away. Finish my labeling. Six centimeters, point D, five centimeters, and then double check my angles. So if I was right in my estimate, angle BDC should be 40 degrees. It is 40 degrees. The complementary angle that's missing is half of 360 degrees because the entire internal angle of this polygon would be 360 degrees. Well 360 degrees take away 80 is how much? Come on, think about it. If you're stuck, just do the math. It's okay. 
So 0 take away 0 is 0. 6 can't take away 8. Can't subtract 8. But if you regroup from the hundreds, 1 of the hundreds is equivalent to 10 tens. Now 16 take away 8 is 8. 280 degrees total. That's what these two angles represent combined. So if you take your 280 degrees and divide it into two groups, how much do you have left? hundred and forty degrees. So 140 degrees times 2 equals 280. This angle theoretically should be 140 degrees. Now we can double check that using our compass. Represents 140. Now again you would need tight pictures of this to prove and justify that you actually had the angle accurate. That's 140 degrees too. So this is how you would use your compass your protractor, and your ruler to create a, a parallelogram.